it's me, Shasha Games, and welcome back to Bear With Me Episode 2. I am so excited to get this Let's Play underway. I apologize for the first episode. I realized that my mic was cutting in and out. Um, so this one, don't worry, this one will be all good. You'll be able to hear me. You should be able to hear sounds and such. So apologies once again for that. But we are here today and we are going to play Bear With Me 2. Again, by Exordium Games. Everything will be linked down in the description below for you guys to check out if you want to try it out for yourself. This game is available on Steam and all that good stuff. So, let's just pop right into this game and see if we can finally find Amber's brother Flint, the information about the Red Man and what is going on in Paper City. Because this is what we've all been waiting for. So let's get right into it. Well, 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 look what the booze dragged in. Wow, that was really bad. Cut me some slack, all right? I had a long night. Hi, Betty. Long time no see. Not long enough. Always a charmer, Ted. Hi, darling. It's been a while. You're still as pretty as ever, and you've grown. Oh, uh, thank you, Betty. You look amazing. Are you getting ready for a casting call? Huh, yeah. It's for a movie called 24 Hour Shift Survivor. You really look the part, babe. Don't be rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you talking, Bear? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you being so short. It's like you're not even trying anymore. Ah, I missed you, Bear. Literally. So yeah, are we going to pretend that never happened? You had it coming. Wait, what? Yeah, your bestie here tried to shoot me. I'm sure you deserved it. He did. Women, you can't kill him. But they'll sure as hell try to kill you. Oh, please stop being such a drama queen, Ted. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. What are you talking about? You missed my head by half an inch, grazed my left ear, and I fell out of a 20th floor window. I was in the intensive care for two weeks, and you didn't even have the face to show up. Did you not get the flowers? I did. They were lovely. And nothing says I'm sorry like a funeral wreath. Sorry? After what you did, I'm thinking I should finish the job right now. Hell hath no fury, indeed. It seems you two have a history together. That's an understatement. Never mind that now. Avoiding touchy subjects as always, I see. You've matured so much, Ted. No, not at all. It's just, we're kind of in a hurry. Okay, so pretty excited that we're finally in Paper City. And we are now at Shell's Bay Diner. And oh my gosh, guys, the characters here are already quite interesting and really quite different. And of course, conversation is quite lengthy. So we're just going to pop right into it. I'm loving the look of this diner. It's very, it's very retro looking. So what options have you got? Have you seen CBG? That's what we're after, actually. And we're also looking for Flint. Have you seen him? We'll do the Flint one first. Because that's what we initially came here for, and then we were going to bump into CBG. Because Ted wanted to chat with him in the last episode. We're looking for Flint. Have you seen him lately, or talked to anyone who has? Flint? Oh, I've heard about that. Darling, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Betty. We actually thought he might be here in Paper City. I'm afraid I haven't seen him for quite a while now. Oh no, okay. What do you know about the Red Man who told you about Flint? Who told you about Flint? Blabbermouth was here recently. It seems he's doing some sort of investigation on the events surrounding the Red Man. Hmm. He's looking to get killed, more likely. I'm sure he'll be just fine, Ted. He's been doing this for a long time. Doing what? Hiding in the bushes and going through people's trash cans? You should really give him more credit. 
every case you solved, he was the one that wrote an expose about it. He basically made you famous. Huh. I'll send him a gift basket. He won't. Is he still writing for the paper daily? He's their top news hound. Hmm, okay. Um, this one. Recently, we came across some evidence suggesting the Red Man might have something to do with Flint's disappearance. I know you've heard about him. So, what's going on here, babe? What's going on, Ted, is that this maniac came down to the city with the sole purpose of burning it down to the ground with everyone still in it. I don't know what the hell he is, but judging by the stories, he's the devil himself. I pray that he didn't have anything to do with Flint's disappearance. I hope so, too. Have you seen CBG? I was told he hangs around the harbor lately. Yeah, he's here all right. And hanging around is really the perfect choice of words. How can we find him? You can start at the container terminal. He's been there almost every night for the past couple of weeks, chasing seagulls and yelling at the terrified harbor workers. You talked to him lately? He comes in every so often, usually waits for everyone to leave and then sneaks in. He almost gave me a heart attack the other day. What happened to him? He was brilliant once. Best detective in the whole world. Well, second <laughs> Anyways, one day he just snapped and he was never the same again. I guess that kind of lifestyle takes its toll on people. Just ask Ted here. It's only a matter of time before he starts raving on the streets about seagulls and populace control. But Ted's retired. Yep. Here I am, just enjoying my retirement. Retired? Hmm, never took you for a hobbyist. <sighs> and no, Ted, getting drunk isn't a hobby. <laughs> Is that Pete over there? Yep. That's old Pete. Who's Pete? He works here at the docks. He sure is. He has a bit of a drinking problem. You can relate, right? Don't get smart with me, babe. What exactly is he doing around here? Oh, this and that. Mainly he's in charge of the drawbridge and some other stuff. Is he off duty? I guess so. No bridges need drawing at the moment. Well, if you can wake him up, you can ask him that yourself. Good luck, though. I've been trying to wake him up for a while now. He's out cold. Yeah. Anyways, we're leaving. We have to find CBG. Thank you, Betty. Good luck with your next audition. Thank you, darling. Good luck with your case. And Ted. What? Be safe. Maybe we can get together someday after all this is over. Have a cup of coffee or something. Sure thing, babe. I'd like that. Bye, Betty. So, you and Betty. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so Betty and Ted. Betty and Teddy have some history, I see. Alright, so now we finally get to click around this amazing little scene here. And so this is Pete here. And I just realized he has keys dangling off his hand. So we probably need those keys. Probably for the drawbridge or something to get to CBG. That's what I can only assume. But we have a lot of things we need to interact with. So let's just get right into it and see what we can find out. And see if any of this can help us too. A lot of dirty dishes. My mom would literally freak out. Um, darling, I already cleaned out the coffee machine. Besides, you're a bit too young for coffee. Filled with chilled carroty goodness. My god, do I need a drink. I'll just grab that while no one's looking. I prefer my food in liquid form. I'll take this. It could be useful. No time for sitting around. I spent 12 hours in a box once, until she remembered that we were playing hide-and-seek. Just amber things. That's some fancy broom. Still a broom, though. Oh, I just realized it's called the Nimbus Supreme. Ha ha ha! I don't even feel like sweeping my own room, let alone someone else's. Various photos depicting Paper City's bay. Not much use when you can't see through them. Ooh, jukebox. I don't have any change. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can wake up Pete, I guess. I guess that is a negative. I'm not very hungry. With their menu, you'd better not be. Okay. Boy, this place is a mess. 
Ooh. Ooh. Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. <laughs> They're standing on one, too, so... I guess we can't click on it. Um, we got beer tapped. Beer with me. <laughs> Come on, you're better than that. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, so, ooh, fire alarm. It's just for decorative purposes. Nothing works here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> if it is just Amber's imagination of like a town and stuff, then yeah, that would probably be right. I guess there's nothing else we can click on. I think we've exhausted all the options around here. Oh, we can actually click on each other now? We should go find CBG. He might know some things about all of this. Oh, of course. All right, uh, this way. Out into, I guess, the bay, you call it? Ooh, 24 hours, Shells Bay Diner. Whose car is this? Got a car. Um, oh, we've got a lot of stuff here we can click on. And uh, Clark. Okay, okay, let's click on some stuff, see what we can find out. If they're so special, why are they not on the menu? Good point. Ooh, we can touch the car? Whose car is it, first of all? It's Pete's car. Oh! Looks shabby. What can we do with it, then? Oh, they're going to the trunk, or the boot. Are we just breaking into people's cars now? Don't worry, he won't mind. Or notice, or both. <laughs> I guess we're not actually, and I totally forgot to check our inventory. Okay, so we still have the army knife and the sword. I don't know why we need the sword for. And then we got the two new items. Everything else is gone, okay. I am not going through trash. I thought we established that. More like grayery. Uh, <laughs> the puns are real. Shells Bay Diner, where everybody barely knows your name. It's filled with the finest things, just top shelf stuff. Ted, how many planets you think are up there? Who knows? Some say somewhere around 18 quintillion. Wow, really? Sure, but it's nothing to get hyped about. <laughs> 18 quintillion? I've always loved this view of the city. When the light gets intensified by smog, it's just breathtaking. Okay, so I guess we're gonna talk to this fellow over here. There's nothing else. Oh, the bridge! Oh, wait, let's go to the bridge first. Ooh, oh, the bridge is up! And the containers are over here, so we definitely need to get Pete, uh, I guess, to wake him up to put down the bridge. What do we got? Bridge control room. Power cabinet oil can. Ooh, let's check this out first. Nah, I don't feel like touching electrical stuff. That's probably a good uh, instinct there, not to touch electrical stuff. Just grab that real quick. Why don't you grab it real quick, short stuff? <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this seems to be everything. What do you got? Control panel. Oh, I can see like a little bridge picture there, so that's definitely what we need. What do you got? Magnet, specific magnet. All right. All right, let's just... You guys know the drill. We're going to click on everything. I guess we can pick up this magnet because it's separated from the others, and there's got to be something super special in there. I'll just take this with me. A collection of magnets. How cute. Somebody really loves to draw boxes. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh my gosh. Why does it look like a, an aviator thing? Round thingy? Switchy? <laughs> what? What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. Oh my gosh, I think Amber's gonna keep saying, what's this thingy thingy? What's this switch thingy? <laughs> do I look like a bridge-raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. What's this shiny thingy? Looks like a detailed user instruction plate. Don't recognize the language, though. I want to say Chinese. We need to find the key for this panel. Oh, so yeah, we need to get the key. So are we gonna wake him up to get the key, or are we gonna have to somehow get the key off him? 
Launch nuclear strike. Oh, that sounds that sounds inviting, but let's click on this first and we'll do that one last. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. Check core temp. What the heck? What's this thingy here, Ted? Should be a digital signal switch panel. What's this button thingy? Whatever you do, don't touch that one. Okay, okay. Hehehehe. <laughs> What happened? Something um, happened? Oh boy. Let's just keep this between us. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, so it looks like, aha, there's a missing fuse. So we need to find uh, a fuse here, I guess maybe in the control room. And uh, and the key. Uh, how do we get out this way? All right. Ted, are you working here? Don't act smart. You used to have a hat just like this. What happened to it, Ted? It's a long story. The sum of a man's life can be found on his office desk. Is that why yours is full of booze? It's not full of booze. I have important papers there as well. <laughs> Don't get smart with me, doll. <laughs> Who carries a screwdriver around? I'm pretty sure that's his car key. I'll take it with me. We can return it later. You'll just take it. Really? You. Oh, shut up. Uh-huh. Is it a screwdriver? What the heck? Oh, <laughs> and it's got like a little pom-pom <laughs> thing on. That's pretty cute. It's trash. Fascinating. Right? Ooh, manuscript? What is this? Elizabeth jumped from her chair suddenly, all of the while looking at her mother. She seemed nervous. Mom, she asked, what if Mr. Mason doesn't find me interesting or pretty? Oh, sweetie, Mrs. Baker said, don't you worry your pretty little head with such nonsense. Mr. Mason comes from a long line of public servants like his father and his father before that. They're the most boring people on earth. I'm sure he'll find you quite invigorating. You really think so? Elizabeth asked. Elizabeth! Mrs. Baker raised her voice slightly, annoyed by her daughter's doubtfulness. I said you'll do just fine. Now hurry on. Get yourself presentable. He'll be here soon. But mother, Elizabeth said tremblingly, I'm already wearing my prettiest dress. Oh dear, her mother gasped. Elizabeth broke into tears and ran upstairs to her room, passing her father in the hall. Ooh, a coat. Okay, let's have a scrounge around. There are a couple of coins in here. We'll just borrow them. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of borrowing today. Ooh, some coins. And a first aid box. A first aid box. See if you have some medical alcohol. You know, for medical purposes. For medical purposes. Okay, windows. Not much use when you can't see through them. Same conversation We're about this. We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. <laughs> Because that's right, in the first episode, one of the devs or the creators of the game <laughs> had a very unfortunate happening within one of those lamp conversations. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Do you guys remember that? Alright, so we've got some stuff from the control room now. And we still need to find a way to get over to here to talk to CBG. It's where we'll find CBG, according to Betty. We just need to lower the bridge. We need to lower it somehow. Maybe the controls are in that bridge control room. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's lowered. As opposed to when it wasn't. Nothing interesting about a fence. Okay, we need to lower that drawbridge somehow, if we want to get to the container terminal. Okay, guys. I'm going to leave today's Let's Play here because we've finally got some stuff, but we're going to go into the next one. We're going to somehow lower the bridge and get to CBG, but we've already got some goodies. We've got some, we've got some popcorn. We've got a popcorn baggie here, empty mug, coin, screwdriver, which is Pete's car key, magnet, and an oil can. Quite interesting what we will have to do with all this stuff. 
but I cannot wait! Guys, smash that like button if you want to see the next Let's Play of this PNC, and subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to share this clip with your friends for all that good stuff, and as always guys, I thank you for watching, and remember to keep on gaming! Bye!